hey, I need to let you guys know something. I'm not making straight A's at everything I preach to you here, and I never will. You ever hear the statement that it's not the destination, it's the journey? Well, Jordan Peterson told a story <clears throat> that relates that in a much more feasible manner to people. He uses the terms positive and negative emotions quite a bit. And he said, one of the only things that creates positive emotions in people is that when they have some kind of identifiable goal, some kind of identifiable end, something that they want to achieve, and they can see clear, evident progress toward that goal. And when you do that, when you have clear, evident progress toward a goal, an end, an achievement that you want to accomplish, you experience positive emotion. Thus, I guess the pseudo-scientific version of it's about the journey, not the destination. Now the question is, is your goal high enough? You see, there's an interesting thing if you set a goal too low. Most people, when they're in college, they set a goal to graduate. And then they graduate and they have one day of elation. Woo, I did it. And then a lot of college graduates go, well, what do I do now? If your goal is something that you're going to achieve soon, and we should always have, you know, kind of milestone goals, right? Little things that tell us we're achieving our bigger goals. But if all you're setting is these smaller milestone goals and you don't have a larger goal, what happens when you reach it? Are you ready to make the next goal? Or do you find yourself lost? Are your goals big enough? Are you setting your sights far enough into the future that for years and years to come, you can experience those positive emotions of making noticeable and evident progress toward that goal? If not, why aren't you setting your goals high enough?